From firefighting to farming, determined pilots of unmanned aircraft believe the technology will soon be everywhere. And as our Jason Allen discovered, they're quietly and almost secretly getting ready for it. On a far-flung, out-of-the-way wheat field, the kind of cold, cloudy morning you barely see a bird in the sky, something else started hovering behind the trees. Then there was a bigger one, then one with wings. They were taking off, crashing down, and pushing forward what this diverse group believes is the future of flight. Can you feel it? <laughs> Chad Fraser carefully and quietly planned this for months. He was careful to follow old FAA guidelines for flying hobby aircraft. But with the FAA still writing rules for unmanned planes and sometimes stopping flights, he waited until just days before the event to even tell operators where to meet. What good would it do to get shut down before you can prove that you can do it? And a lot of these guys, they care a lot about what they do, and they're they're growing, and that's a lot about what this contest was. The contest is an example of how pilots see this as more than just flying for fun. Out in the trees, in the fields, in water, there is a mannequin out there somewhere. There's camping equipment, there's clothing. Operators are looking for all of it, things that you might have to find in a real search and rescue operation. Cameras sent back images, and operators were spotting hidden items within minutes. They believe the uses, though, are limitless. I want to be able to go to the fire department and say, when you have a wildfire, call me and I'll give you live aerial footage of it, of the fire, where it's spreading. Jake Warren is just 16. The budding engineer believes he's on the forefront of something big, even if his friends don't. Right now, they pretty much think I'm crazy. Most of my friends are like, oh, you're going to go fly your RC planes after school, Jake? You know, they have, they have no idea. No idea that the farmer who plants wheat on this field has a drone of his own. Oh yeah, I think it's the future of ag. Todd Kimball wants to use it to scout fields for watering issues, fertilizer issues, or pests. I mean, they're always pushing us for more yield, more yield to feed the world, so it's uh, technology is going to be the, the leading factor in that. And even with some bugs. Where'd you go down? They believe the technology is ready and the public will be soon. They're going to be everywhere, or at least they can be, as long as our country is accepting of the new technology. In Ellis County, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News. Unman unmanned airplane pilots likely will have a long wait if they want to fly out in public. It will be at least 2015 and probably longer before the FAA is done writing rules for the aircraft.